There was a comment <coughs> on one of my recent uh, YouTube videos um, uh, by one of my uh, subscribers who said, would it be possible for me to do a video on um, Bernack Vulcan models that you mentioned? And uh, I said I'd love to do one, but unfortunately I don't actually have one in my collection. I've been after one for years, but I've either missed the auctions or they've gone for, uh, in my opinion, too much money. However, this came up on eBay the other day and I was lucky enough to uh, <coughs> win the auction. So, let's have a look, shall we? There we have uh, what is a rather fine example of a Burnout Vulcan. Bring the camera in a little bit closer. I was particularly pleased about this one because, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, in, in shot, um, the sight glass is intact. Uh, quite often they're missing, or the holes have been plugged up, or broken. <clears throat> but this one is this one is intact. Um, it will appear that the uh, fire wheel is loose on the shaft, but uh, <clears throat> everything everything appears to move. It all it all seems to operate. So. I think all this one's going to need is a good clean up and uh, we should be good to go. So, more about this later on. Okay, well, it's uh, pretty much finished. Um, <clears throat> the uh, paintwork was in pretty a pretty bad state, so uh, basically it's been all redone. Um, the base uh, paint on the base was quite badly badly applied so I don't know whether it was original or whether it had been repainted but that came off with a bit of paint stripper and the other parts cleaned up fairly easily uh, it's all been etch primed and uh, then repainted um, the red is a humble enamel which is very good to use on steam engines as obviously it's quite hard wearing the uh, burner has had uh, new wicks and a coat of paint uh, that was also etch primed so um, it's all all nice and uh, freely moving. So uh, hopefully we're good to go. So the next job is to see whether it actually runs. Oh, and the uh, safety valve was missing its spring, but that's that's been replaced. That was about the only thing that was actually uh, wrong with it. So right, let's run it. There was one other uh, thing that was missing on the uh, on the burner. Um, one of the wick tubes was completely missing so I had to make a new one that was a half an hour or so on the lathe turn that one up but uh, a fairly simple job so hopefully 
we shall see some action in a minute. And I think we're up to pressure, so let's give it a go. There we go. There is a small valve here to adjust the uh, pressure, amount of pressure that gets to the piston, which is quite useful, so you can actually run it quite slowly. Um, and as you can hear, it's very silent. There is a leak. The um, uh, sight glass here is leaking, which um, is no, it's not a problem. I mean, you can't act. The sight glass is so badly um, mucked up, you can't actually read anything through it anyway. So ideally, we need that. That needs to be replaced with a new seal. But no, other than that, it's um, it's superb, running superbly. I'm well pleased about that, as I said, I've been after one of these for a long, long time. Need to trim those wicks down a bit, it's way too big. There you go. One Bernac the Vulcan under steam. I have to say, these are very nicely made. I say, this is the first one I've actually seen in reality, but it's. Um, very, very well made. What pups in the right water? Truly lovely steam engine. 